Thanks for staying with us. Now, in COVID, I bought a jet, the third one. I have three. While people were complaining, I was resting. I was praying for COVID not to end. My wife asked me, can life be this sweet? If you don't have an idea of what I'm talking about, please watch this clip. What is mortality and divinity in human? The man of God, there are strange things that in COVID, I bought a jet. In COVID. The third, I have three, the third one. In COVID. I was praying for COVID not to end because I was resting. Why people were complaining? I was, my wife asked me, say, can life be this sweet? Am I talking to somebody here? No stress. I read on, on the net, was it yesterday? Somebody sent it to me. There's a rumor going around that I have a machine that prints money. I like that rumor. Say it should be investigated. He has a machine that prints money. I said, they say, somebody says it's true. I said, it's true. Huh? It's risky. I said, I didn't know. I didn't know it's risky. I already bought the machine. When you speak in tongues, you are printing money. Hey! <laughs> Take your seat. Hmm. So what is the impact of words like this on the young Nigerian populace? As some people on Twitter put his picture alongside Hush Puppy, saying, same business, but different office. Too many talking points. So please let us hear what you have to say. Remember, you can join this conversation. Tweet at us at Africa one with the hashtag we show or send us an SMS or WhatsApp to 081-803-84663. Okay. Who am I starting with? <laughs> ah, Uti, let me come to you first. So when I saw this video, I don't even know what to make of it. Um, a lot of people called um, the, the man of God insensitive to the times that we're at. And you know, a lot of people said something that it is words like this that make people, for instance, like Invictus and all of those, is going to fraud because they also want to show off and all of that. So, so many things came to my head. But let me hear your initial thoughts. What came to your mind? And I'll also come to Sanzi. Okay, so <laughs> I remember now why um, I'm not to my usual cheerful self. Yeah, this video has a lot to do with it. Hmm. You know, what pains me the most about videos like this, and unfortunately, I was trying to find the full clip you know sometimes it's easy to take things out of context when you don't have the full video right um but i'm a christian very very much understand that the the, the christian faith and believing in jesus and believing in god there are a lot of positives to it, which can include wealth, can include financial benefit. It can include all of those things because the Lord will bless you. And there are many things, many aspects of the word within our faith that reiterates that. What irks me so much is that in this country, we have a PR problem. The Christian faith has a PR problem. That PR problem is now the direct driver of atheism, the direct driver of people turning away from what should be a life-changing experience. I mean, you need to live a supernatural life to understand how powerful it is. Now, without the proper context, words like this, things like this are very dangerous. Now, one, you are a leader. Like I said, I didn't watch the entire sermon. I don't know. But you are a leader. And we've talked so many times about, I mean, when I saw that tweet where he was likened to Hush Puppy, it, it didn't, it wasn't a stretch for someone who has no context. It wasn't a stretch 
for someone who lives every day on what is our statistic in this country, I think it's two dollars a day. Mm -hmm. It's not a stretch for somebody who's going past all these mega churches and all these big houses to say, you know what? It's not right. Mm -hmm. Now, when you when you allude to the fact that you have and again, don't get me wrong, not a problem to be blessed. Like I said, it is you. It's, it's a part of our faith. God will bless you. But it is not bragging rights. You must choose your words wisely mm -hmm. because the people who you are speaking to are not as enlightened as you, do not have the understanding that you do, may take other routes to the same destination. I mean, when you say something like, oh, speaking in tongues is, is your own printing money. Last time I checked, ain't nowhere in the Bible where it says God is an ATM, push your prayer in, money go pop out. <laughs> It doesn't. Okay, let me so to at the end of the day, mm. when things like this, when I hear it, I'm like, guy, I get what you're trying to say, but your words are doing more damage than good. Mm. Because we now need to appreciate that the words you speak in the house of God do no longer, they don't remain in the house of God anymore. Mm. People have phones, you are recording it, you're putting it out there on social media. You have to say the right things. And when we talk about prosperity preaching, this one does more damage than good. Hmm. Listen, I think oftentimes you're too quick to forget that these people are humans. And yes, you can abide by the law of be careful of what you say and do this and do that. But it can never be 100% because at some point you lose yourself. Let's not forget that, like Uti said, the context, context it matters. Where he's saying it matters. To whom it matters. Now, he's not at some conference saying this. Obviously, he would not say this at a conference. So he's talking to members of his church, people of like minds, at least, who believe what he is saying, because you would have to believe him for you to be, to be um, coming back every Sunday, mm. right? So I think I got distracted. <laughs> <laughs> but basically, um, um, my, my point is, I think I forgot what I was oh, going to say. That's quite... Okay, okay. Let, while you're trying to gather your saying. thoughts, there's mm. this school of thought that says he's trying to give hope, you know, he's trying to preach that even amidst all the, the COVID-19, where people were complaining and all of that, he was still prosperous in it, trying to liken that his own economy is not, is not the, what the world, you know, there's that part but of that the Bible. That is also a very, a very valid yes. point, because it's not just him, for a lot of ministers, now, I'm a church girl, I mean, I say it everywhere, but for a lot of ministers, the COVID period was a good period of rest for them. Mm. At least I follow Apostle Selman, not Suleiman, Selman, and he would also tell you that during the COVID period, as much as he sympathized with people who were going through stuff, but he had a good time of rest. And so there is also something, like people would say, even what is his name, um, PK, told us about wealth transfer and all that that would happen. People would take advantage of COVID. COVID would favor some people. There is nothing wrong with, we don't know how he bought the private jet exactly. So maybe it was a distress sale. We do not know. The most important thing okay, is so that he got a private jet. And that shouldn't be a problem because the ministers, I'll tell you, I've dealt with a couple of them. Their schedule is crazy. It's as tight as maybe that of the high-ranking politicians. You're, you're, you're here today, you're there tomorrow. And most times you can't really wait for all these airlines that can disappoint so, you so and de de delay your flight. Right. So because words are powerful, mm -hmm. right? This is what you talked about, delayed flight. I will come to that. Because words are powerful. It can either build or destroy. For the current situation that we are at in Nigeria, right? The current situation that we are at in Nigeria, economically, you know, everything, mm -hmm. everything, mm -hmm. there is just a lot of things going on right now. Do you think those should have been the right words that should have come Listen, out of this oh, mouth. I think people it's a are question. just, people are Ooh, mentally lazy. Place. Hold on. People are mentally lazy. They're always looking for who to say that. You said this. That's why I said this. No, you are responsible for your life. I am a leader, right? So it is my responsibility to watch what I say. However, I am as human as you are. Maybe I have more exposure. Maybe I have more training. But when it comes down to it, I am as human as you are. So I may have said something that doesn't settle with you. Fine, it doesn't settle with you. Move on. Don't come and hold me responsible for your for your for your decision no, ten years down the line that okay, will affect me, your grandkids and your great grandkids. That's you not are, fair. You are a leader. You are a public figure. Yes. You do not get to. You do not get to. No. Blame it I am a public human. figure, we not a robot. Human. But now you are not speaking. You are not accosted, let me put it that way, by a reporter on the street with a mic. Mm -hmm. You are in a church, 
and you are preaching. Mm -hmm. You have the larger understanding of the context. You have the larger understanding of the body of God. You come there and again, it is the choice that is the problem for me. Even if you want to talk about rest, bearing in mind, it can't, it, you, if you want to look at it, you say, oh, it's a bit insensitive. But let's even leave that. We're talking private jets. People are living on less than two dollars a day. Less than a dollar. Who it's not, it's not less trade, than a dollar. Can't go out to trade. People are struggling. It's one thing to say, you know what? I'm thankful that God has provided. When your example is that I am on my third private jet, call it whatever you want to call it. Wrong example, sir. It can't be. I'm coming there to be uplifted, and I can't eat three square meals a day. And somebody's talking about three private jets. Now, that Where is my for you, Uti. Reach? Sorry, let I me finish. make this point. Sorry, that is for you. How do you know that people in that congregation, they are not being uplifted by that, his testimony? Because as far as I'm concerned, that is a testimony. People outside of the church may not see it that way, but to the people he's speaking to, that is a testimony yes, of the benevolence of God testimony. in his life. It is a testimony, Sanzi. But let's back up that testimony. Let us let us not say that all of a sudden, because you are a man of God, you have different responsibility. How did he buy three private jets, by the way? Okay. Is it by business? Is it by donations? Are we really going, exactly going to go into that? Yeah, we have How to go you, that I'll give you a list. Story. You have Listen. to ask these questions. Oh, I'm when you, when not everybody... Not everybody has the same level of faith as you. Like I said, what you say can either detract, and for a larger populace, will detract. It a will larger detract. populace puts the faith in a different light. Absolutely. There are so many ways in which you can talk about rest. There's so many ways in which you can talk about being blessed that does not come to the ridiculousness of three private jets. Mm. And you know, why, why we are even having this conversation? I'll come to you, Sansi. Don't worry, you'll be able to talk. You know, there are so many, if you go on social media, there are so many videos, right, that show countless times where they say that these boys that have gone to do fraudulent, they say, will go to the altar and be spraying money on their pastors and all of that. You see, when you say things like this in the context of where we are, I get you, there's a part of faith. I get there's a part of, oh, I am blessed. But you see, when you are not sensitive to the things that are happening around you, right now there's a high rise of, uh, what's it called? fraudulent activities why do you think so because everybody wants to go on the altar to share their own testimony right because nobody checks anymore to see how this thing came about you know i would actually because for me men of god you have a lot of ears listening to you that is why even if i'm not going to be hard on other people i'll be the hardest on them because the responsibility that you carry is a lot more so you cannot just loosely say things you know you can't loosely say things. And Uti is right asking, where did you get the money from? It's a, it's a valid question. And my own question is, what do you even need three private jets for? If you had continued that conversation to say, you know what, there is a, there's a mission in Zamfara that we need to be shipping. Hold, let me finish. L let me finish. Because okay. you see, when you keep on acquiring things, we need to change the narrative. We're trying to shape minds here. Mm. Everybody just believes that now it is for me to just blow. That is the language. And where do you think this is coming from? It is the words that they continuously hear from some of our leaders. That is what where this is coming from. Listen, if you can afford, I know that he takes care of poor people. I don't follow his ministry, but I had to research in it. I uh, make some research. I know he takes care of poor people. He gives back to the society. So let's say he has a thing for jets. Right? The same way some other person, a politician, might have 20 cars in his garage. It's the same way some, some so I have a thing for jets, which I do oh, actually, you, and I will get one. And then before, somewhere down the line, I can afford to get two jets. What's, what's, the, what's wrong with having it? Can I just add this? If he's doing it for poor people, would that not be a better example of how the Lord is blessing you to say, you know what? I have spent maybe 200% of what we would have sent before. Listen, Uti, you're would a do Christian. For you're the a faith Christian. Then you come in to talk about three private Uti, jets. Hold on, hold up, girlfriend. <laughs> this was the same thing Judas asked Jesus. Remember when Mary broke the oil at his feet? Like, why would you waste such a thing, right? I mean, you could give it to the poor or thereabout. The poor will always be Mary there. Now, when, you, when you've been blessed... The poor will not be with us. I am simply saying that, again, choose your words wisely. 
Talk about that. Don't talk about your it. private jets. I get the thing about choosing your words. How many people even word? in their hoping in their entire lives? How many people inside that church are going to dream blessing to the blessing well, of listen, three private jets? I'll tell you something. The truth. You see the same clips they've caught. I've seen a clip where he saw Apostle Suleiman. I'm not saying that I don't follow his ministry. But I'm just saying generally based on what I have seen. He was in church and then he spotted someone that they were praying and fasting together while in college. Guess what? He picked up this guy and the guy was like, oh my goodness, you remember me and all that. And the way he treated this guy and guess what? Right there and then in that church, he was like, how do you have a car? Do you, how is your family and everything? The guy was like, no, I'm struggling with life. He gave this guy one of his cars right there and then things and like this hold on one things person. like this don't go around because Let me people are her. always looking for ways to trap men hold of on. god now there are things that we cannot answer because they have a certain level of spirituality that we do not know i know they're responsible for lives but there are also things that except you get to their level of spirituality or maybe if you are led by god to a certain extent and you have the right spirit of discernment you may not be able to get it okay so sanzi yes i like what you just said you see this instant thing oh i pray that somebody now called me into the from the crowd and dashed me car. For the man that old don said even that one in itself i have a problem with it i will not explain why i have a problem with please it. explain but i have a problem with it because <laughs> you see you a success is Don't a process cry. do you understand we should stop preaching that instant things instant this you do this and you get god does not work that way listen god does not work that way now when you say in a pandemic you are wishing you are wishing the pandemic continues was that a sensitive thing to say you understand was that the right word to use? You are wishing a pandemic should continue. Do you know how many families are currently in mourning state? So what we are saying here is that, yes, I get the excitement. You want to, you want to, you want to, you want to show how much God has been good to you. But can you also be cautious of the people that have lost lives? That's the question. But you know what? We're going to take a break. When we return, we'll open the phone lines and we'll also switch to what our defense minister said stay with us we'll be right back <laughs>